Hi there, I'm John of John's Carnivorous Plants. This is my indoor nursery and today we are going to talk about what should you do if sundew leaves are molding. <laughs> so I uh, have gotten this question a couple times of, oh no, I got mold on my sundews, what should I do? And quite literally the uh, short and sweet answer to it is, oh my goodness, my <laughs> come here, let me show them on camera. Oh, my cat is looking absolutely ridiculous right now. <laughs> Looks like she got in some cobwebs. Say hi. So, sun, okay, fix her face. That's very distracting. <laughs> but uh, you'll see uh, every so often if you're feeding with like fish flakes, mealworms, uh, freeze dried blood worms, or just basically any kind of uh, live or, you know, organic material, even if like you do a bunch of maxi, you can see that your sundews will start getting like white or grayish fuzzy mold that will start growing on the leaves. And for the most part, it is not too harmful to the plant. You can, you know, wipe it off or spray it off with like a spray bottle or something. Generally speaking, it is a symptom of you having too little airflow. So if you're seeing mold on your plants, it's uh, either you're overfeeding or you don't have enough airflow. So like when I mean overfeeding, there's just too much stuff on that leaf that the leaf isn't really digesting at all. And, you know, the mold's just going to be opportunistic and come along and eat it. A little bit of a side note on that is that in the wild, the reason why we don't see moldy sundews because of the, like, insects and whatnot that they're catching, and I've kind of uh, touched on this in the uh, Are Spiders a Pest, is that in the wild, sundews actually are competing with quite a few other animals and insects to where, like, larger insects that can't be trapped or even jumping spiders that have a smoother exoskeleton that can't be stuck to the uh, sundew, they'll come along and literally just pick off prey that the sundew has captured, or like uh, a carcass that the sundew hasn't eaten. We'll just, you know, grab it and go, you know, because free meal, why not? The uh, thing is that in our cultivation, we generally don't have strong enough wind or uh, actual like, you know, strong rainstorms or in the case of some bogs where it even floods, you know, temporarily if there's a big enough washout or even like, you know, the presence of the aforementioned insects or bugs or animals or whatever, or birds, excuse me, or whatever that are coming along and picking off the sundews. Now, because of that, you're gonna have to simulate that action yourself either with a spray bottle or something else. This is why I also recommend using Maxi because as a uh, commercial grower, whenever I'm trying to grow for people, I don't want to like feed with blood worms or other things because it frankly is unsightly and will sometimes in the case of, like fish food, the fish flakes will die. Like the, the plant will literally like take in the dye of the fish flake and it'll impart that color onto the plant. And it's kind of unsightly and undesirable as well as, you know, the, also the mold, which, you know, rightfully so people get a little bit worried about now. So I'm looking around my collection right now. I don't really see any uh, good example of this, but another thing that will cause mold is, you know, the one time I do a video on this and I, I don't have any of them around to show. But, uh, see, does, that, does that do it? No. That's, that's kind of got a little bit. Now, generally speaking, you'll see every so often you'll get and it's not going to focus in because it's barely anything. But this has like some slight white mycelium on it. Nothing too much to worry about. Generally speaking, you can just, uh, you know, just like I did, just pick it off, toss it into uh, the bin and not really worry about it. When it's on your plant, though, if you're seeing a lot of excess mold because like you fed like a big spider body or something like I... <laughs> I think I did that for one of my shorts last year where like I put a big old spider on one of my sundews. I had to come back a couple months later because the sundew like didn't actually eat all of the uh, spider carcass. I mean, it definitely got a lot of energy from it and it started exploding in size. But you could definitely tell the spider carcass was starting to uh, get a little, uh, a little extra funky, if you get what I'm saying. Like, you know, it was looking a little extra fuzzy in the white way. Uh, white and yellowish, if I remember correctly. But you'll see all kinds of different colored molds attacking the uh, prey of your sundews and other various carnivorous plants. And my best suggestion to avoid that is just remove undigested uh, prey items before they start molding. Just uh, 
protect your own health, protect the health of the plants. It's pretty, uh, pretty much all I got to say on that. And I hope it was a little bit of an informative topic to you. If you guys have anything to add about that, please put it in the comments. Any extra questions or comments, you know, always like reading those. If you want to talk to me directly, join the uh, Carnivorous Plant Discord down in the description below, as well as you can go to my website and buy a plant and help support the channel. Thank you so much for watching, and I hope you enjoyed. Catch you on the next one.